Hi everyone, in this video, I'm going to give you the demo of this application drawing dimension. This application creates auto dimensions just by selecting the secondary parts and primary part. The main purpose of developing this application is to speed up GA drawing dimensions because in Tecla, it doesn't create the dimensions automatically. So let me just go through this application. Once you double click IBM create dimensions, it opens this application. You can use the filter option. For example, when I select the Perlin and then do the cross selection in the model, it doesn't matter even if it selects the other parts. When it creates the dimension, it will be only for Perlins. And you can select the dimension attributes from the list. This is going to read the attributes from your system and dimension type in X direction and Y direction. You can change the text height and this is the distance. And I have given options here. You can pick point to locate the dimension. I'll show you how to do it. And you can also pick the point to set the dimension start point. And this is for creating end plate dimensions. And this application can be used not only for creating outdoor dimensions, you can also create dimension for section. And after creating, if you have any issues, you can click modify to change it. This excluded whole size and excluded bold standard, which means you can call the bold mark when you add the dimensions. Generally, what happens is that we don't call the bold mark for certain bold size. So you can type it here. For example, if I type it 22 and the standard is 8.8s, it will call the bold mark for all the other whole size. Let me just remove this one from here. You can add the part mark attribute and the bolt mark attribute. Okay, let's see the demo. You can type the name to filter and save this one so that it will be easy for you to load from here. Let me just do the cross selection first and then let this option be on. Create dimension and pick the main path. And it is asking me to pick point to start dimension point. Let me just pick this point here. You can see the dimensions. Next, I'm going to do it for the goods. So I change the settings. I'm going to select the goods and this time I'll remove this option create dimension it's asking me to pick the primary part and just pick the primary part and this will create the dimensions now you can see how easily the dimension can be created by selecting the secondary and primary parts let me go to an another drawing i'm selecting all the girds it's okay even if it selects the other objects because uh, the part filter is good create dimension and then pick the primary part. So there you can see the dimensions. Actually, the main purpose of creating this application for GA drawing, but we can also use it for shop drawings. Let me take the shop drawing. I'm taking this uh, column single part drawing here. I removed all these dimensions and mark create dimensions select the top view because we are going to add dimension to the top view and change the settings to this dimension type in x direction and select create dimension and pick the primary part so here you can see and if you just want to change the dimension style you can select you can go back to this x dimension type and then click modify. Let's go to the next drawing. Cold rolled section. So these two options are on create part mark and create bolt mark. Just do the cross selection to select the part. Create dimension and pick the primary part. So here you can see the dimensions the bolt mark and then the part mark. 
let's go to the assembly drawing okay this is the truss i'm taking a different style selecting all the truss webs create dimension and let me pick the bottom truss you can see the dimensions here and I'm going to create uh, the dimension for the top plate so selecting all the top plates create dimension and pick the top cord so it places the dimension to the leading edge so this is the section view so I'm going to remove the dimension from the section views So let me just get rid of the marks. Just for clarity, I'm not adding the mark right now. Just do the cross selection. You can pick multiple sections and then click section dimension and pick the primary part in any one of the selected views. So there it is. So what happens if you have the plate hole because I want dimension to be given to the holes not to the plate um, in the main views. Let me just remove these dimensions from here. I'm going to select these plates. And then selecting all the plates here. So what happens is that when the system creates the dimension for this plate, it will place the dimension for the plate. But since we have uh, plate holes, it will place the dimension for the holes, not to the plate. Create dimension and select the primary part so here you can see uh, let me just do it for the section view once again i'm selecting all the section views section dimension and pick the primary part in any one of the views so what about uh, the plate at the end selecting this option i'll select the plate create dimension and pick the primary part to place the dimension for the plates welded at the end of the primary part. This application is quite handy to create the dimensions in GA drawing as well as the shop drawings. This will be on my website uh, very soon and uh, if you have any suggestions or any question feel free to get in touch with me and thank you for watching this video.